Amazon introduced the new Echo Dot fifth generation, but should you buy it? Is it enough of an upgrade over the fourth generation? Well, there are three features that do seem interesting that we'll go over and see if they're enough of a reason to pick up one. Now you can check out the latest Echoes down in the description along with some of my other videos. Now this is not a full review of this. I haven't had time to play with it enough for a full review, but these are a couple of features that I think we should go over. That way, if you do see these on sale, you could decide if it's worth getting one or if you should hold out for one of these. This is not a sponsored video. I did buy these myself. Let's do a quick overview of these. This is the Echo Dot fifth generation. It's $49.99. This is the new deep see blue color does that name fit this color let us know in the comment section i feel like it's not a deep sea blue then we have the echo dot with clock for 59.99 you could get glacier white or cloud blue this is the cloud blue i do like that it's all matching blue on this version as opposed to the darker blue and lighter blue of the previous one the new kids echo dot is 59.99 it's available in owl and a dragon so you could add it to the collection of animal echo dots oh here they come again i don't know why they do this <laughs> Okay, anyways, they are cute at least. Now the dot is the same size as the previous generation. There isn't much of a difference between these two except that clock, which I really like having the clock on it. These things sit around doing nothing most of the time, so it's nice there's a clock that you could glance over and look at. So I think for the extra $10, it adds a lot more value. There's a new high density dot display that gets used to show you more information. So if you make a request for weather, it's gonna show it right across the front. If you're listening to music, it'll show the artist and the song that's playing. And there's a couple other features that will display across the front of this, which again, I think that's a value you add for $10 more. Other than the display, pretty much the same device. Now the first upgrade is to the sound. Every time Amazon releases a new Echo, they seem to improve the sound on them. This time around, Amazon claims that they doubled the bass on these in the same size device. So did they do it? Let's have a listen. I see a sky with a So what do you think? Let me know in the comments section. Do you think the bass has been doubled? I don't listen to a lot of music on my Echo Dots, but if you do, I do feel like it's a lot more balanced sound. It's not thumping bass at all. You don't feel the bass, but listening to the regular Echo Dot, it just sounds so tinny and there's no mid or low end out of this. This just filled out the sound nicer. So it's just a more balanced sound out of it and makes for a more enjoyable listening experience. Now don't go trading in your stereo system or getting rid of your Echo fourth generations. This is still just a dot. So again, here's a comparison between the fourth generation and fifth generation dot. One change that may matter to you, depending on your use, is the new Echoes do not have a 3.5 millimeter jack. So the only way to connect your Echo to your devices is with Bluetooth. Now, before we continue, if you haven't, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified when we do the next video. Now, the second big update to these Echo Dots are being able to use them as Wi-Fi extenders for Eero routers. This is cool, so you don't have to put dedicated extenders around your house. Instead, you can have an echo in a room and help cover your house with more Wi-Fi. Now, this isn't gonna be for everybody. For me, I'm not gonna be able to use this because of the limitations of this as an extender. I currently have a tri-band router capable of gigabit speeds. Using these, you're limited to 100 megabits per second. Also, they can only connect 10 devices to them. So keep that in mind. If you have a 100 megabit or under connection, 
this really could be a great option. You'll see they have bundles where you get a single ear router and these for an extension. From that point, you just add dots around the house and you're just gonna blanket your house with Wi-Fi, which is good because those devices that are on the outside of the network getting the slowest speed, they drag down the speed for the rest of the network and devices. If you have over a 100 megabit connection, this really isn't gonna do you much good. It would actually slow down your network speeds and slow down your network altogether. So something to keep in mind. I really wish that there wasn't that 100 megabit limit. It'd be nice. I didn't expect this to be able to do tri-band, but I figured that dual band, we'd get some more speeds out of it. Now, one thing I almost forgot about, the Echo Dot fourth generations are going to get an update to be able to use these as Wi-Fi extenders too. So that kind of knocks out one of the feature updates. Now, if you are gonna use this as a Wi-Fi extender, definitely read up the details on it so you'll know if it actually improves your network or it may bring down your speeds. Number three update is the addition of some sensors. On top, there's a new accelerometer for tap gestures. And with that tap gesture, if your alarm's going off, you wanna snooze, you can tap it. If you're having a phone call on your Echo and you wanna stop it, you can tap it. Or you could use it to play and pause your music. Now, if you go into the app and you go under your device settings and scroll down, there's under general, there's the tap gestures. And you could see you could use the tap controls to snooze alarm in calls, drop in and dismiss timers. But then you have the advanced tap controls. Unfortunately, those advanced tap controls are limited to just pausing and playing media. Now, one thing I'd like to see with this tap gesture is being able to use it as a trigger for routines. If you go into routines, the only choice you have now is a temperature and occupancy to trigger a routine. So hopefully they'll add that tap gesture. Now they did add a new temperature sensor. And this is great because you could go into routines, you can select that as your trigger, and there you can pick what you want to do. You can pick um, whether it's Fahrenheit or Celsius, and you could pick whether the action's triggered if the temperature goes above a certain amount or you can change it to below a certain amount. So below, if you want the heater to come on, uh, if it gets too hot, you can have the AC come on, whatever the case, uh, that's a nice option. Another sensor addition allows you to detect if people are in the room using the ultrasonic sound detection in there. So with that, you can incorporate it into routines and it'll show up in the app as a trigger under occupancy. Amazon's assistant can detect when people are near using signals from the device. For example, it can determine occupancy by sensing motion using ultrasound on Echo or Echo Dot, or the camera on an Echo Show or interactions with the device. But it says in here, may not be able to detect occupancy if there's no movement in the room. But either way, you can choose to trigger a routine when people are detected or when people aren't detected. So maybe you want the lights to go off in a room after people have left for a certain amount of time. It is nice that if you have the Echo in the room, maybe in the kitchen, if someone comes in at night, it just turns on the lights for them. It's great the sound's a little more balanced out of this. I know I always appreciate different ways to automate, so having that sensor is nice. But if you don't really care about the sound, you aren't gonna use it as a Wi-Fi extender, and you don't necessarily wanna buy it just for triggering routines, you might want to just go with the fourth generation and save a little money. Now, do any of these new updates make you want to buy the new Echo Dot fifth generation? Let us know in the comment section. Next, make sure to check out this video over here for some more great smart home information. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Bye.